Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. Today we are gonna be running some errands. It is a super busy day for me, but I'm gonna try to vlog as much as I can. So we have a few more Christmas presents that we have to buy, so we're gonna go to the mall. We also have to go to the post office because today's like the last day that you can ship something and it get there by Christmas and we still have to send Andrew's dad and stepmom's gifts, which we just got them in the mail yesterday. Oh, we have to go to the butcher shop because we're out of meat. I have to try to put out a Sims video today and maybe work on editing the last vlog. So I've got a lot of stuff to do. It is, what time is it, dear? Um, it's 11, 12 and we're just getting out the door because we wake up late now. So I'm wearing my glasses because I'm making a an effort to try to wear them more because honestly, I can't really see that well without them. I'm just kind of going through the world half blind because I hate wearing glasses, but it's getting to the point where <laughs> It's like impairing my life and I need to be wearing them. So you're gonna be seeing more of the glasses. I really need to go get an eye exam soon. These are old, an old prescription, but they're better than nothing. Sorry, there's a glare. I'm standing in front of the window. Anyway, we're about to head out to the mall, so let's go. We are also having a windstorm right now. I don't know if you can hear that. Jeez. Oh my God. Wow. Skellig is just hanging in there though. He's a trooper. Oh my God, the wind is really, really bad. Like we're, we're at the mall now, we're in the parking lot. We're about to have to walk through this into the mall and like, I don't even know, it looks terrible out there. Our car is just being pelted with dust. The air is all hazy because it's just filled with dust because we basically live in the dust bowl and the wind is just stirring everything up. I remember when we first moved here, we were so freaked out by the wind, weren't we Andrew? Yeah. <laughs> because wind like this does not happen in Arkansas unless there is a tornado coming. But now it's just like, oh crap, great, there's wind. It's a, it's a minor annoyance, but it can also do a lot of damage. We had a windstorm a couple years ago that basically ripped the roof off of one of my friend's houses. So you can get a lot of roof damage and stuff like that, property damage. Luckily, we haven't been affected by that yet, but today is just... This is the worst wind I've seen in a long time. Anyway, we're about to try to trek through it and get into the mall. Are you ready? Oh my God. Jesus. Okay, let's go. Oh my God. I can't open my door. I cannot open the car door. I can't open the door. I can't open the car door. because I love to see all the decorations and they're playing Christmas music. It's very festive, but they didn't have what we needed, so we're gonna go to Walmart. So the 
winds are getting really, really bad and trees are starting to fall. I just tried to capture some that we saw. The road that we just drove down has an entire tree over it and there's fire trucks everywhere. Like it's getting scary bad with the wind out here. And the area that we're driving in right now has a lot of trees and it's, it's scary. We're about to try to get it out of here. Oh my God. We just drove under a street light that was on a power line about to knock the power line down y'all it's it's getting bad out here i think we might have to cut our shopping short because i think it's just dangerous to be out right now we do have to go to the butcher well walmart's right there so we'll see we'll see what we can do but i'm getting a little nervous about driving around under these power lines and trees andrew's in at the butcher shop now and then we're going home y'all it is scary bad out here we just went into Walmart and when I came out the basket almost tipped over in the wind and I literally could not walk because the wind was pushing me and I was afraid it was going to actually blow me over. I have never seen wind this bad ever ever. The, the only time I've seen wind this bad is right before a tornado in Arkansas. So it's pretty scary and there's like damage everywhere. There's all kinds of like stop signs down and trees down and we we passed by. I didn't have my camera out but we passed by a tree that had fallen onto somebody's car in their front yard. I just hope everything's okay at home when we get there. Because this is, this is not minor annoyance wind. This is damaging wind. Gibbons, please stop eating plastic, sir. That is very bad for you. Gibbons, you gonna help me wrap presents? You gonna help me wrap presents? He's been over here being a nuisance while I'm trying to wrap. <laughs> Okay, look, that's all for you. You can have my scraps. So obviously we made it home safely. I have like grit in my eyes and mouth from being out in that wind. It was just insane. Gibbons is really enjoying me wrapping presents. So now I have to wrap these gifts so we can get them to the post office. Andrew's in there cooking some lunch and uh, then I've got some work to do. I couldn't show wrapping this one because I don't know which of our family members watch these vlogs and this is for one of them, so. Um, that's why I also didn't show us shopping. <laughs> I made the wrapping paper too short, so now I have to cover it up with like a strip of paper. I am not a very good wrapper, okay? I do my best. <laughs> it covers the gift and that's what matters. Hey, it's the next day and luckily we survived the windstorm and we had no damage where we are here but I was watching on Twitter and there were some crazy videos of like dust devils and dust storms and stuff going on very very near us but it passed quickly and it's gone thankfully um, I know some people did have some serious damage to their property though because when we were out driving around we saw some of that and I'm just glad nothing happened here on our street. The landscapers came today and they're outside cleaning up our yard right now as we speak. And I'm so happy because it has been a mess for so long. We finally got somebody to come and do a cleanup on our yard and they have, they've already done the back. It looks awesome. So what I'm about to share with you is I got a little mini turret haul in the mail. So after a long dry spell of not getting any new clothes <laughs> since like the summertime, uh, I finally got a few things, found a few things at Torrid that I like. I'm opening up the bag and the first thing I see, oh my God, I'm so excited about this. I got a new sweater. So you've been seeing my gray skull sweater for several years now and it might finally be replaced by this one. <laughs> well, it won't be replaced. I will probably wear that thing until it falls apart because I love it so much. It's so warm and cozy, but there's a new skull sweater on the block. Check this one out. So it's almost exactly like my other one, but it has three skulls on the front. It zips up. Look at that. It's black and it, it's just the same as my other one, like a black zip up hoodie. I love this. I got it in size 14, 16. I really hope it fits me. I did lose more weight and I'm fitting into a smaller size of legging. So I hope I'm gonna fit into this. We're gonna try it on in a minute. I'm gonna open everything first. But anyway, let me, let me get back. That's what it looks like. 
I ordered a widescreen lens for this camera, so it should be here tomorrow. So hopefully in the future, I'll have a wider <laughs> field of view. Oh, I got an, I forgot about this. I got a night shirt, like a pajama shirt. Cause I like to sleep in night shirts. I do not like to wear like shorts or pants to sleep. I gotta have my legs free, free to kick around the covers. Um, so I like night shirts. And this one that I got, I don't know if you can hear that, but they just started up some loud equipment right outside. Um, this, I got this silk night shirt. And oh my God, it feels so good. You can kind of see like how silky that is. It feels really, really good and comfortable. Ooh, I can't wait to wear that. Um, I also got this in a one size one, 14, 16. It's very long too. It's gonna be really long on me, which I don't mind. It's very, it looks very ho like a holiday night shirt, like a holiday Christmas shirt, a holiday Christmas shirt, a holiday pajama shirt. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got that because it was like deeply, deeply discounted. I always look at their sleep clothes and see what's on clearance because I'm not going to spend a fortune on something that I'm just going to sleep in. So I always get whatever's on clearance. I have like a Lion King night shirt that I got from Tori just because it was on clearance. I'm like, whatever, I'm just going to sleep in it. But this was so cute. I think I got it literally for like $15. They were having a huge Black Friday sale when I bought this stuff. So I was like, I'm just going to see what they have, if they have anything that I like. And I did get a couple of things. Okay, here's a shirt that I bought. And I wanted some new clothes just to make me feel better about my weight loss, you know? It makes you feel better when you have new clothes. So I got a skull shirt. Now, this is probably something I would have worn to work whenever I worked in an office. It's very blousey. It is very much a blouse, which is not something I normally wear, but I really liked the skulls on it. Look at the pattern. Um, so, you know, maybe I could wear this with some tights or leggings to a more, maybe I'll wear this to the Christmas party we're going to tomorrow. I'll be, I'll have my fancy skulls. My fancy skulls are for parties. <laughs> yeah, I might actually wear that, maybe. And then finally I got a pair of leggings because I love toward leggings and sometimes they have some cute ones. Sometimes they don't, but I really liked these and they were like super discount once again. I was looking through that clearance section and they these are Betsy Johnson, which usually I don't buy the Betsy Johnson stuff because it's so expensive. Um, but if I see it on clearance, I will grab it. So these are Betsy Johnson leggings. Usually it's the Betsy Johnson stuff is like really my style. It's a lot of skulls, a lot of black. <laughs> I like it. So I'm going to show you the pattern on these. It's like a skull with a rose in its mouth. Oh my God. I love this so much. I love these. I hope they fit me. Okay. I got, Ooh, they look, they look a little small. They look a little small, I don't know. But I got them in a size one. I'm not used to buying things in a size one at Torrid. Usually I buy a two, um, but I can't fit into two. I can't fit into twos anymore. It's hard for me to wrap my mind around that. All right, so I'm gonna try this stuff on. We're gonna see how it looks. We'll start with the sweater. Oh, and just to tell you guys like what a good deal I got on this stuff. So the leggings I got for $17. The zip up hoodie, the skull hoodie, I got for $35. The red satin gown, it was $24. And the blouse was $17. All right, y'all, here's the skull sweater. Oh my God, it's so comfortable. It is so comfy. Um, I absolutely love it. Let's zip it up. I hope the mic's picking me up way back there. So here's how it looks when it's zipped up. Oh, it feels so good. It feels just like my other one. I love these Torrid zip up sweaters. They are like so comfortable. Here's the front again. It had, they have like a little bit of stretch to them and they're just thick. Like it's just a thick sweater. Like this is, you can't wear this in the springtime. It's thick. 
I don't know how it looks from the back, but um, it fits. It feels good. So this is an A+. Plus. Okay, so here is the skull blouse that I got. Um, it's very, very light. It's very comfortable, very flowy. I almost feel like it's too big. If, I feel like there's... I feel like there's a lot of fabric going on right here. <laughs> I don't know. Let's look from the side. I don't know. It doesn't look too bad from the side, I don't think. I'm looking at myself in the tiny little viewfinder, so it's hard for me to see. But, uh, I don't know. It's very comfortable. I feel like it would be good with, like... A sweater over like a cardigan over it and with some jeans and boots maybe I think this might be nice to wear to our Christmas party let's put a sweater on and see how it looks okay so I would never wear it with this skull sweater because this is just like skull overload so I would not wear this but just pretend that this is a black sweater okay so this is how it would look under a black sweater it really reminds me of something I would have worn to the office honestly, to work in, in an office. But I think it's cute. I like it. I think I'm going to keep it. If I lose like 10 more pounds, it probably won't fit me anymore. So I'm going to wear it while I can. Well, I just found my new favorite nightgown. <laughs> this thing is so comfortable, y'all. Oh, I'm going to be wearing this all winter. It's so soft and so comfortable and it's long. It goes all the way past my knees. It's super cute. I love it. Oh my God, I love this. Um, I will link to all this stuff in the description box if they still have it at Torrid because a lot of this stuff was clearance. So I don't know if they're still gonna have it, but if they have this, I could highly recommend it. It's very comfortable. What do you think, Andrew? Like my new nightshirt? Yeah, I do actually. It's cute. Comfy. It's very comfortable. All right, guys, here's the new leggings. I hope you can see them because I'm way back here. They're so cute and they fit me so well. I was so worried they weren't going to fit. <laughs> they fit perfectly. They fit like a glove, seriously. So here's how they look on my actual leg. Look how cute that is. I can't believe it. We had 100% success with this haul. That almost never happens. And I am definitely 100% down a size in Tory clothing. So I used to wear the size 2, 1820 size. Now I wear the size 1, 14, 16. That is very exciting, guys. Here's a little quick update on my diet. If you don't want to hear about my diet, you can skip forward to the end. But uh, I'm going to talk about that real quick. It's going well it's going very well i am just my sugar cravings are pretty much gone but i am not eating low carb i am eating uh fruit and starch i am just basically not eating any gluten or sugar i'm eating a little bit of dairy because i don't think i have a problem with dairy um but no gluten no sugar uh, no vegetable oil if i can help it which sometimes it's hard to avoid because it's freaking everywhere so i'll talk about this more in another vlog i bought a book written by a naturopathic doctor that treats uh issues like pcos and it has been extremely helpful to help me understand like what i should be eating and what i shouldn't and it has been more helpful than any doctor has ever been to me it's called the period repair manual i think by dr laura biden biden i can't remember off the top of my head i'll put it on the screen but anyway she says that it's really not necessary to go keto and keto can actually be harmful to you if you have pcos in the long run i know there's a lot of opinions out there and i'm not saying that that is true or correct i'm just saying that since i've been following the advice in the book i feel so much better and i'm finally losing weight again and i'm gonna do another uh, weigh in for you guys next week i'm finally back on track because of that and because i'm not feeling miserable with my food i'm eating lots of fruits and vegetables which you guys have seen in my previous cooking videos still eating just like that um, last night I actually had some rice and it did not kill me, which was awesome. <laughs> and yeah, just cutting out uh, gluten and sugar 
and vegetable oil, which are the most inflammatory foods for you if you have PC PCOS. Some people can handle gluten and I'm not sure if I'm one of those. So I'm just gonna cut it out for a while and see how I feel about it. Sugar is another thing that women with PCOS just cannot have. Um, it's just very, very, very bad for us. But I do have some hope for that because in the book it says that once you get your insulin resistance under control, you should be able to go back to eating like a dessert once a month or something like a normal person. Uh, but right now, no sugar for me because I'm really trying to heal myself and get back to optimal health. And I'm not really focusing on my weight. It's cool that I am losing weight, but I'm just trying to more focus on my health. Like I want my hair to grow back naturally. I want my insulin resistance to heal naturally. I want my hormones to heal naturally. And I'm sick of taking, just like throwing a prescription drug band-aid on everything. Like I want to heal myself, really truly heal myself from within. And it's hard, <laughs> it's not easy. It's not easy to know what the right thing to do is when there's so much conflicting information out there. Uh, but I feel like the guidance that I've that I have from this book has been very helpful. And also you just have to experiment for yourself as well and see what works for your body because everybody's different. And every woman with PCOS is different. We all have the sugar issue in, in common, but some people can handle dairy, some people can't. Some people can handle gluten, some people can't. Like PCOS is an inflammatory disorder and you just have to find out what inflames you and cut it out. And then your body will start healing and you will just start losing weight. And that's what's happened to me. So I'm very happy and I am not like 100% compliant. I ate a piece of pizza the other day. I had some french fries. Like I'm not 100% compliant, but I think if you do like an 80-20 and just try to live your life the best you can, that you can still be successful. Like you don't have to be 100% rigid and that's what I'm finding and that also helps me to not binge and stuff. <laughs> Little diet rant there, but um, I will share more with you guys about uh, that in my weigh-in vlog that I'm gonna do next week. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for hanging out with me again. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everybody.